EP, are you ready for your first trip to see the bees? Hey, I'm so excited. Today is Abigail's first beehive check. And I already learned a lot. Yes, you have already learned a lot. I expect you to tell me all about bee anatomy. You're not gonna have to touch too much today, but when we come out in the future, you're gonna have to help me. You're gonna have to handle frames and your gloves will need to fit better. Regular hive inspections are so important and I've been waiting for Abigail's bee suit to come. It arrived today and it's been about two weeks since my last inspection and I'm super geeked because today is the day she gets to come out for her first hive experience with me. Okay, my little propolis producing pals. <sighs> Abigail, look at this. Look at this. What is this, honey bunny? Honey. They're working on that one. They're working on this one, yeah. They're working on okay. that Okay, Abigail, let me show you, okay? This is our frame, right? You see all that shiny stuff? The bees are spitting the nectar back out of their mouth and into those little cells. Abigail is going to be watching how we handle ourselves around the hive. Rule number one at the hive, always follow directions. So we're gonna be working with her on that, as well as just observation and having a chance to see what she's seen on videos and read in books and bring that to life for her. I'm free. Honey. You see some honey in there? Can you go slow, remember? That's a rule, go slow. Look at this. The bees are also filling these frames. I've also been working with Abigail on learning parts of the bee's anatomy and the hive itself and the structure of what bees do and their function. And so I can't wait to test a little bit of her knowledge today and see if she's able to apply anything that she's learned. There's a bee on my leg. It's, it's okay, honey. It's fine. It's just checking you out. The bee is saying, hello, Abigail. Abigail has been interested in the bees almost since I started doing beekeeping. She watched that first season, and then I think she realized how we extract honey and where that delicious sweetness comes from, and suddenly, I have a future apiarian on my hands. Can I taste some honey? Uh, we have to take our gloves off, but yes, I'll get you some honey. Hold still, I'm gonna open you up. Okay. Open wide, sticky, sticky, coming in. How is it? Here we go. Good. All right. Just a minute, what Daddy. Happened? No, she was tasting the honey. I think my sweet girl likes the sweet. Part of what we're doing today is an inspection and an opportunity for Abigail to see what this is all about. But Charles and I are also going to do a mite treatment today. And so it's a little bit of actual work task that she can't help with. And so we're going to get in and show her some things around the hive and then we're going to get to work. And I imagine she'll be bored by the time we, by the time we start really working our way through all the hives. Abigail's very gentle natured and she's really curious about bees. And so when we've been in the yard and we've seen bees probably from our hive, we've looked at them and talked about them and um, we've talked about how to interact with them. But today is gonna be the first chance for her to put that into practice. You see that white? That's capped. That's capped honey, that's right. Look at you there, sweet pea. Inside? Or in the in the hive. You want to go in the hive, right? Go in the house. Oh, you want to go in the house? Today went well. Abigail felt comfortable around the bees. She had her nose right in and she was exploring and wanted to see right into the hive. And she was super curious. I was really impressed with how close she wanted to get. And I, if I could have given her a step stool, I think she would have climbed up to look right down into the boxes. So I'm excited that she is so curious and that she wants to learn more and know more. And like all children, her attention span isn't as long as the work that needs to be done, but that's okay. She did such a fantastic job on her first exposure. High five.